Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the University of Leicester MBA webinar. My name is Helen Spiropoulos, and I'm the Admissions Manager at Stafford Associates. And joining me this evening all the way from the University of Leicester is Dr. Peter Rogers. Good evening to you, Dr. Peter. Good evening, Helen. Good evening, everybody. Okay, so I can see that there's quite a lot of you that have joined us this evening. Welcome to you. Uh, the mere fact that you are here with us today means that you have spoken to our very experienced academic consultant, so it's great to actually have you with us. Um, how I'm going to conduct uh, this webinar this evening is so I'm just briefly going to discuss um, what Stafford does, and then I'm going to hand you over to Dr. Peter, who's going to talk about the program. And right at the end of the presentation, you will have the opportunity to type out any questions that you would like to ask Dr. Peter or myself. Uh, do bear in mind, however, because there are quite a few of you, that um, I am going to be looking through those questions and I'm going to group them together because a lot of the questions are similar, if not identical. Okay, so let's get started. Um, who is Stafford Associates? Well, Stafford Associates has been in the region uh, since 1993, and we are a resource center provider for distance learning education. Um, we actually currently represent uh, five UK universities, one of which is the University of Leicester. Now, we do offer a variety of programs, uh, ranging from certificates to diplomas, bachelors, uh, masters, right through until, until doctorate. So we really do have um, a variety of programs for all your personal and your professional needs. And our function here is to actually assist you throughout your application process and make sure that you get that very important unconditional offer. And we also do provide administrative as well as academic support. I'm now going to hand you over to Dr. Peter and I shall join you towards the end of the webinar. Over to you, Dr. Peter. Thank you, Helen, for the very kind um, um, invitation. Um, as Helen said, I'm, my name is Dr. Peter Rogers. I'm an Associate Professor of Strategy here at the University of Leicester School of Business. And also, I am the director of the MBA program here at the University of Leicester. And as Helen said, for perhaps the next 20, 25 minutes, I will speak to you about, firstly, the University of Leicester, and then, most importantly, our MBA program. And after this, you'll have, obviously have an opportunity to ask any questions you have about the university and about the MBA program. And Helen and I will be more than happy to answer those questions. So in terms of a brief introduction, the University of Leicester was founded nearly 100 years ago in 1921, and we were very proud to say we were awarded the Royal Charter in 1957. Um, we're also very proud in terms of global rankings. We're ranked amongst the top 2% of universities in the world, and that's according to the QS World University Ranking Systems. And we've also been rated five stars in terms of excellence for research and teaching that takes place across the University of Leicester. Um, within a UK perspective, we are amongst the top leading 25 universities in terms of research ability and how research informs our teaching um, across the United Kingdom as well. <clears throat> Moving more specifically, as I said, onto the University of Leicester's MBA, most importantly from the onset, <clears throat> it's important to state that our MBA programme is a distance learning programme. So you do not need to come to a campus here in Leicester every day. You do 90% of your learning online using your computers, um, as I will explain during this presentation. Uh, lectures are recorded. You have the opportunity to discuss topics with your fellow students online in discussion boards. You also have opportunities to engage in online seminars with your students as well. The Leicester MBA is uh, 30 years old this year. It was launched in 1989. And we're very proud to say we won the first AMBER accredited distance learning MBA courses in the world. Um, AMBER is the Association of MBAs, which is a highly prestigious organization which provides accreditation, which is a quality control. So AMBER accreditation is, a, is, a, is an example and recognition of the quality of our program. Um, so we've been undertaking distance learning 
in terms of the MBA provision here at Leicester for nearly 30 years. Um, we've got a great amount of experience from that. Um, and also we've got a lot of students who've graduated for our, from our MBA program as written down here. We've got over 12,000 MBA alumni. They're located in over 150 countries around the globe. Um, and when, they, when, when our students complete their MBA uh, studies and become graduates, they continue and network and use their network and knowledge and friends that they've met on the MBA program in order to drive forwards their careers in business and management after the, after the completion of the MBA. We also try, in terms of the content of the program, we try and create a, a, a combination of academic theoretical insight and rigor, but also we understand the importance of practical solutions and professional solutions to problems and challenges that we all have in our business and management lives on a daily basis. Um, in terms of the student body, as I stated, our students come from all over the world, from the Middle East, uh, from Africa, from Asia, from America, from Europe, from Britain. So you have students in your in your um, in your student cohorts from all over the world. And as a result of this, you know, we're very proud to say that Leicester MBA is extremely international in its outlook. And it has a huge range of global networking opportunities. You have the opportunity to meet and to work and study with, with <clears throat> highly mobile, highly successful um, people. And then carrying forward after the MBA, you can stay in touch with these people and help each other in terms of developing your careers worldwide. Um, another key point to mention in terms of the MBA is flexibility. Um, we obviously understand that the world we all live in today, whether it be we live in the UAE or Saudi Arabia or Jordan, Britain, Russia, China, Brazil, we all have extremely busy lives. Lots of us have extremely demanding work commitments and we also have family commitments as well. As a result of this, we've tried to develop and we're very proud to say we've developed a program that has flexibility built into it, which enables you to continue doing your work full time and at the same time, you can continue studying on your MBA. Um, in terms of the content of the MBA, as I stated here, it uh, consists of five modules, which is combines a, a variety and combination of the latest business and management thinking across a huge range of business activities, whether this be entrepreneurship, innovation, marketing, finance, human resource, man, human resource management. So in terms of the Leicester MBA, um, we're accredited, as I said, by AMBA, which is the Association of MBAs. It's the highly prestigious program. I think it's only 263 business schools out of over 4,000 business schools in the world which have AMBA accreditation. So as a result of the accreditation, that is a guarantee of the quality of the program involved. In terms of qualifications, alongside your Leicester MBA, you will receive a dual award. You will receive a second award which is a Chartered Management Institute CMI Diploma Level 7 in Strategic Management and Leadership. And again, someone you might ask, what's Chartered Management Institute? This is an institution which supports business and management education and learning around the world. And it provides a lot more opportunities for learning in terms of business and management, soft skill development, interaction skills, communication skills, and also additional opportunities for networking within the MBA and beyond the remits of the MBA as well. Thirdly, in terms of the MBA, we provide the opportunity for specialisms. You have the opportunity to undertake a general MBA at the University of Leicester, or if you choose, you can undertake an MBA with a finance specialism, a marketing specialism, or a human resource management specialism. Um, so again, if, some, if you're somebody who works in finance, you can do an MBA with a specialism in finance. If you're somebody that works solely in marketing, you can do this, the MBA with marketing. And same with human resource management. <clears throat> I've clicked onto the next slide, which is an outline of the course structure. Um, most importantly, duration. Our MBA takes uh, 30 months, two and a half years. It consists of five modules, of which each are six months each. In terms of the time, as I said, the duration is 30 months. However, in terms of upon registration, you have up to 60 months in order to complete. So sometimes a student is unfortunately ill 
or a student might move jobs and they say, oh, can I postpone my studies for three or four months and then restart again? This is absolutely fine. We again, as we said, in terms of flexibility, do you have the opportunity to do this? So as long as you complete your studies within five years, this is absolutely fine. It's important to state, though, that the vast, vast majority of our students complete it within 30 months. They are very, very committed. They're very, very focused and they make sure that they complete their MBA studies in good time. So in terms of the course structure, uh, module one takes place in months in months one to six. Um, this is what we call managing and developing people in organizations. Uh, here you're provided with an introduction to the program of professional skills, uh, looking into organizational behavior, HRM, leadership and change management. And following this, in terms of module two, you'll be looking at managing value creation processes from ideas to market. Here there'll be an interaction of marketing, ops management, operations management, innovation and entrepreneurship. Module three is where you'll explore more accounting, finance, economics, but also important issues which very personally I'm interested in, issues around strategy, ethics, corporate social responsibility and sustainability. After completion of your three core modules, you'll have the opportunity to undertake a fourth option. This will include either marketing, either finance or human resource management. And then finally, in terms of module six, you'll at the end of the completion of your module four, you'll have the opportunity to undertake either an MBA project, an MBA dissertation or an MBA business plan. Students ask me, what is the difference between these three options? In terms of a dissertation, this is a traditional academic dissertation. You can choose with your supervisor what will be the topic of the dissertation and that's fine. Option two is you could undertake and develop a business plan. If you're wanting to set up a business, you can work with your supervisor in, in order to develop a business plan. And the third option, which is very common and very popular amongst our students, is the MBA company project, which means you can undertake a project using your company in which you work at the moment as the case study example. As a result of that, you can sometimes get some advantages for not only completing your MBA, doing an interesting company project about the, the firm you, in which you work, but also you can tell your boss you're doing some work, doing a report, for example, into, into the company, and that could be beneficial for yourself as well. As you see at the, the bottom of the, um, the slides, um, there's also a learning and development portfolio embedded within the program. And this enables students to firstly reflect upon their learning during the duration of each of the modules. And secondly, it enables an opportunity for career development and career management during the duration of the program. You'll have the opportunity to engage in coaching from a series of external professionals, uh, management, business and management leaders who will provide coaching in terms of career development for you. Um, and these are also, you know, obviously big pluses for the program as you, as you undertake it. As stated, in terms of course delivery, it's important to state that the MBA at the University of Leicester is a distance learning product. The vast, vast majority, I would say 90% of your learning will take place online. So in terms of online learning, you'll, be, you'll have the opportunity to undertake online lectures. These are recorded lectures. And then also you'll have, on a maybe a fortnightly basis, the opportunity to undertake online seminars. These take place live. So it might be, for example, um, five o'clock and you'll have the opportunity for one hour to discuss a, a specific theme maybe from the lectures and you'll work within small groups in in those seminars during this whole time you'll have opportunity to discuss and engage with the key topics in each of the modules on online discussion boards and these are monitored and watched over kind of by the module leaders in terms of materials Students often ask me, Dr. Peter, can you tell me which books I need to buy when I'm starting the MBA at Leicester? I said, you don't need to buy any books in order to undertake the MBA at the University of Leicester. All the materials you need to complete the programme are available online. You'll be able to download PDFs in terms of academic readings, online readings, and then you can just download them onto your um, desktop, on your personal computer, and, and read them when you want. So in terms of that, there's a huge amount of flexibility in terms of your learning. A lot of students 
you, for example, do some learning in the evening. Some students obviously do learning in the in the sometimes in the mornings, very early in the morning. Some students work in the weekends on their MBA. Uh, these are very normal things, but it allows you the flexibility to choose when you want to learn. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll also see in person. As I said, the vast majority of the learning which takes place on the Leicester MBA does take place in person. However, we also recognise the importance of people meeting each other and having a learning experience by actually meeting in person. So every six months, you'll have the opportunity to undertake a residential workshop. There's obviously residential workshops take place at our global study centres around the world, located around the world. These are located in Leicester, in West Africa, in East Africa, in Asia, and also, I think most importantly for you today, um, in, in, the, in the UAE. So two weeks ago, I was in uh, the UAE. It was great fun. The weather was much, much warmer and hotter than the weather in England in February. Um, I really enjoyed my time coming to teach at the workshop. So the workshop will take place in the first weekend in February and the first weekend in August. Um, and you'll have the opportunity for doing that in February and August every year. Also, you'll have an opportunity during the duration of your MBA studies to take to take part in the last master class. This takes place in August um, for a week's long learning, and then within this, you can engage in forty eight hours of uh, live learning, which is good for you as well. Okay, so in terms of the residential workshops, you'll have an opportunity to take place to undertake a residential workshop, as I stated, every six months, either in the beginning of February or the beginning of August. Uh, these are two day events. So in the UAE, these take place on a Friday and on a Saturday. OK, and then the Leicester Masterclass, as I said, is six days. This takes place in August once a year. OK. In terms of flexibility, um, in order to achieve an MBA, you need to achieve no less than 120 live contact hours. So you obviously have contact hours by engaging in your online seminars, but also you need to engage in some uh, live learning at either residential workshops or the Leicester Masterclass. As stated here, in order to achieve 120 live contact hours, you can either attend all your live online seminars and three residential workshops. So you could attend, if you started in April 2019, you could attend a residential workshop in August 19, February 2020, and, Feb and August 2020. Or you could attend a residential workshop in August 20 2019, and also the Leicester Masterclass in 2019. And that would create enough hours for you to achieve your MBA. At, with us at the University of Leicester. In terms of student support, when you join the MBA programme here at the University of Leicester, you will be a student, obviously, at the university, and you will have the same opportunities in terms of help and support as our students who undertake learning on campus here at Leicester. So in terms of your modules, each module is a six-month period. You'll have a module leader. This person will be responsible for the overall structure of the module. If you have any questions around the model, you can obviously contact that person. And during the seminars, you might have study group leaders. These, again, are academics. All of the academics who work on the University of Leicester MBA are academics who are employed here at the University of Leicester. The residential workshops, these take place, as I said, in February and August of each year. There will be an academic like myself or some of my colleagues who will come out and, and undertake the residential with you. So any questions or you have any worries about the residential workshop, you can ask the residential leader. In terms of study skills and progression, during the MBA, you'll be assigned a personal tutor. This individual will monitor and make sure that you're studying how you want to during the course of your MBA studies. So if you have any questions, you can email this person. You'll have a meeting um, every six months. This meeting will be either in person or it'll probably be more convenient. You can have a Skype conversation or a conversation on another form of social media, that's absolutely fine. In terms of careers and professional development, you'll have a huge access to the University of Leicester School of Business's 
uh, careers service. We have a dedicated careers development manager here at the University of Leicester and also the wider university career development service. If you have any questions in terms of, for example, developing your CVs or you want to do learn about how to um, apply for different jobs or how to develop your skill sets in different ways, you can take the advice from the, from the career service within the university. The next thing to talk about is the library. Obviously, you will be distance learning students. The vast majority of you will be located, for example, in the Middle East, in UAE maybe, or in Saudi, or in Jordan, or in Lebanon, you know, around the Middle East. So the library here is located on campus. However, 99% of all the materials you need will be available online. So you can just log in and receive information about all the materials you need to, in order to complete your MBA. So you can just log in online to the Leicester Library and that's fine. Finally, on this page, and important to state, we have a highly specialised and dedicated English language teaching unit here at the University of Leicester. We fully understand that in terms of, certainly in terms of our programmes like the MBA, which have a very international outlook, the vast majority of our students um, do not have English as their first language, as their native language. This is not a problem. We understand this, and as a result of this, we've provided a whole team of highly professional, professional experienced and qualified uh, teachers who can provide the English language support for you during the duration of your MBA studies. So moving on in terms of the next questions, the typical questions students ask me is, Dr. Peter, how I'm worried about time. I want, I'm worried about how much time I'll need in order to undertake my MBA studies. How, how much time a week do you think I will need? I think this is a very personal question that I say to all the students. Some students um, might take eight hours, some students might take a lot longer. On average, as I stated in this slide, it's probably about 10, 12, 14 hours is a general average about the amount of time you would need to allocate on a weekly basis. This will take place either an online lecture, which is a two hour recorded lecture, or you'd undertake a one hour online seminar. Then you'd have the opportunity to engage in lecture or seminar discussion boards, and also some self-guided lessons online, which can be set up by your tutors and module leaders. There'll be a series of tests, case studies, exercises, which you can do online. All of the readings, as I've stated, are available to download, so you don't need to go to a library. You don't need to buy any books. You can just download the readings and engage with them when you have time during your busy working weeks. Next questions that students often ask is assessment. How are we assessed in terms of the MBA at Leicester? During your three core modules, modules one, module two, module three, you'll, and get, you'll have to take a midterm examination and then you'll take a final individual assignment. The midterm examination, you do not have to come to Leicester in order to do the examination. You can do this at a local British Council office near to where you live. The examination papers will be sent to that place and the administration team here at the University of Leicester will inform you where you need to go and when you need to do the exam, so you don't need to worry about that. During the option module, option module four, you'll have the opportunity to take a midterm individual assignment and also a final group assessment. So you'll have the opportunity to do some group work within your option module. In terms of the MBA project, as I've stated, you have an option of three. You can either do a traditional academic dissertation, you could in, or option two is to engage in developing a business plan for a startup business, or three, you can engage in taking, uh, doing a company project, doing a project in terms of this is what I, you, this is a, a key challenging issue that, that that needs to take place within your company, and you can do work on this with, for six months with obviously supervision coming from our team of dedicated academics here based at the University of Leicester. Um, the learning and development portfolio, this is an opportunity for you to place and evidence your participation and reflection in terms of learning activities and engagement in the careers development programme during the course of your MBA studies. Ent entry requirements, um, we like to say a UK degree of 2-2 or equivalent and three years work experience. Or we say for, for those of you who haven't undertaken um, a, um, a university degree, this is not a problem. You're still more than welcome to join us. You can have a recognized professional qualification and considerable management experience. And I would say 
If anybody has any questions about how much experience you have in terms of management, do contact your representatives at Stafford who will be more than happy to provide you with some guidance in terms of your um, the entry requirements for our programme. Um, secondly, in terms of the degree, if you've undertaken a degree and English wasn't the first language on that degree, we have English language requirements, you'll have the opportunity to take um, some tests or the University of Leicester English test. And this is normally an hour an hour's test, um, which can just test your standard of English before joining the programme. So in terms of the course fees, uh, the Leicester MBA course fees cover all the required study materials you need in order to undertake your MBA studies, attendance at residential workshops, attendance at the Leicester Masterclass, and also examinations. The Leicester MBA course fees do not cover, however, accommodation at residential workshops, accommodation and catering at the Leicester Masterclass, and also travel to examinations, travel to residential workshops, and the Leicester Masterclass. Fees today, I think it's 14,210 British pounds. Um, if students would like to pay all that money uh, straight away, that's absolutely fine. And I think there's a discount if you'd like to do that. However, the vast majority of our students pay in terms of six in affordable installments. Every six months they'll pay during the duration of their MBA studies. Um, application deadline, it is the 20th of February today. So the application deadline is 28th of February, 2019, very, very soon. So in order to book your place, um, you know, I'd strongly recommend you work with your representatives from Stafford in order to, to get your application completed and get it sent back in so we can, we can, we can um, go through the application as quickly as possible for you. I look forward to any questions. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you for your attention. Um, if anyone has any questions, please, please, please share. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Peter. That was brilliant. We do have quite a few questions, uh, and I have been actually looking at them, and, and I'm now going to start grouping them. Um, there's actually four questions here relating to uh, the workshops and the summer school. Um, basically, the, the questions very briefly are, um, you know, are the summer schools and on the master classes as well as the workshops compulsory? Um, and uh, do the attenders or is the attendance at these any way related to my results? Okay, good questions. Um, okay, so as I stated, 90% uh, of your learning is online learning. However, you'll also have the opportunity to engage and meet your other students from around the world at our residential workshops and the masterclass. Residential workshops will take place every February for one weekend, normally the first uh, Friday and Saturday of every uh, February. And it's the same in the beginning of August for the residential workshops as well. These take place at like global study centres, Leicester, as I said, some in Africa, some in Asia, and probably most importantly for yourselves in the UAE. Um, so you can attend those. In terms of the masterclass, that takes place just once a year in Leicester, in August as well. So some students choose to come, for example, to Leicester for 10 days and they might undertake a residential workshop for two days and then they might do the masterclass continuing for six days afterwards. Other students just continue to do the residentials very close, much closer to where they live. So as I was stating in terms of the hours, in order to attain to, to gain the um, 120 hours of live contact you need in order to demonstrate, in order to gain your MBA certificate from the university, you will need to uh, do all your online seminars and then you can either um, attend three residential workshops during the two and a half years or you could attend one Leicester Masterclass and one residential workshop. So in reality, you could do the program and not attend Leicester. You wouldn't. You could stay in your home country and not attend Leicester. You could attend three residential workshops in the UAE. You could do your online uh, seminars, and you could receive your MBA uh, certificate. And you wouldn't need to travel to the UK, for example. If you would like to travel to the UK, I will warmly welcome you. Excellent. Good. Um, and Mohammad's uh, question is: How long has this online MBA actually been running? Okay. 
this is the the latest iteration, the latest version of our MBA. We're very proud to say we've invested at the university heavily into developing the modules, developing the program. So we've been running an online MBA at Leicester for nearly 30 years. However, this MBA program is, was started in 2017, and so we're continuing it now. So we're really pleased in terms of its the progress and um, the development of new of new and sophisticated module contents for our students. Right, and uh, the follow-up to Mohammad's question, I'll answer um, with regards to our alumni. Um, as uh, Dr. Peter has said, uh, the University of Leicester MBA has been around for many years. We've been a partner with the University of Leicester um, for approximately 20 years or so in the Middle East. Um, so we do actually have quite a lot of alumni that have gone through the Leicester program. And as Dr. Peter said, um, you know, it has gone through some considerable change. Changes, but the the actual content of it is is actually identical, and the and the way that it's taught and the structure is identical. Um, so, should you wish to maybe chat to one of our alumni, uh, please do get in touch with your Stafford consultant. Um, we would have to obviously see if the, the alumni would uh, uh, want to chat to you due to data protection. Um, but we can try and put you in touch with some of our alumni. Okay, um, so do. Contact contact your Stafford consultant about that. Right, and a very popular question, will my degree be online, say online distance learning? Because um, I've heard that it's actually identical to uh, something that can be done on campus on a full-time basis. Okay, good question. Um, no, it will just simply say um, a degree of, of MBA, so it will, won't say that it's, it's an online program. Um, and then our last question is, uh, is there an MBA for project management? Um, and I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about the specialization. Um, but is there any way that uh, I could maybe do a um, dissertation in project management? Good question. Yeah, I think there's a lot of opportunity to engage in project management on the program, certainly in Module two, operations management, there's, there's a lot of information about project management. And then if you wanted to focus on project management in the later stages of your MBA, you could um, take the, for example, HRM specialism and state to your tutor you'd like to do your dissertation as well on project management, and that would be fine. Yeah, so there's lots of opportunity if you really want to specialize on that. For obviously, I'd imagine your work reasons, that's fine. Excellent. And um, the Stafford consultant has informed me that there are now easy uh, entries. For example, there's an easy MBA assessment uh, that can be undertaken. What is expected of me in this 400 word essay? Okay. Um, thank you for the feedback. And in terms of um, the, the changes that we've brought in, in terms of the application program, process. That was from feedback from our very trusted representatives here at Stafford, who, as, as Helen's been saying, we've been working with Stafford for, for over two decades, for over 20 years. And the feedback was saying, you know, in terms of some of our applications, it was it was too difficult. So as a result of that, we've made some changes in order to facilitate and enable some of our students to gain entrance to the programme. So the 400 words, most importantly for me as the programme director of the MBA, is for you to demonstrate your desire to do the program. Why do you want to do it on a very basic level? So that's not to demonstrate that a student knows lots of academic theories and is very clever in that respect. It's more to demonstrate your desire to do the MBA. How do you think the engaging on an MBA program will improve, will enhance your career, your knowledge of business and management going forwards? And it's, it's, it's very broad, but it's as simple as that. So it's nothing to be worried about at all. It's just an opportunity for you to say why in your personal life you'd like to do an MBA at this, at this specific point of your life journey. Good. Um, and Amar has got a very interesting question. Uh, what makes your MBA different to some of the other UK MBAs that are out there? Um, it's different because it's the best. Is is the is the is the simple and uh, obvious answer. Um, uh, but um, in terms of our USP unique selling point, 
we're very proud to say, th firstly, we've got, um, as I've said, nearly 30 years experience of, of developing MBA and doing MBA programs. We've got over 12,000 alumni around the world. Um, so that's in terms of our professionalism, of our experience, that's a, a very good indicator. But also in terms of the course structure and program, as I said during my little presentation, we understand we all live incredibly busy lives. Um, we have work commitments, we have families. So putting learning also into an already busy life, we need to make sure that our program is flexible. So that's what we've tried to do in terms of you have the opportunity to come to some residentials. You can then also meet people as well. It's it's for some, for example, distance learning MBA programs, you you sign up for the program and you do everything online, but you don't have the opportunity to meet any of your student buddies. So you might know, for example, Peter in Chicago, uh, Mohammed in Riyadh, um, I don't know, Vladimir in Moscow, but you never meet in person. Whilst on our MBA program, you do most of the, your learning online, either at home or in your office or in your car, for example, some students. Um, and then you have the opportunity to meet people as well, So, which is really important in terms of meeting people in person. So as well as learning in terms of learning academic learning, you have the opportunity for soft skill development in terms of networking, which can help you in terms of your business and management careers going forwards after the completion of the program. Good, and uh, we do I write my exams? Do I really have to come to the UK at the campus to write examinations? Okay, uh, no you don't, don't worry. You don't need to come to Britain to write your examinations on the MBA. As I stated in the presentation, you'll have the opportunity to go to a local uh, British Council office um, where in the, the nearest way you're located and if you have any questions again the representatives from Stafford can help you with that and it's normally a case that then our administration team at the university will let you know in terms of the examination will take place at the British Council office for example if you were living in Saudi Arabia it might be in Riyadh um, and this will take place at one o'clock on the 28th of February um, please arrive 30 minutes beforehand and the examination paper will be re will be ready for you there, yeah. So you don't need to travel to Britain to do the examinations. Excellent. And um, is there any possibility that I can come and see any of the tutors um, at the campus? Um, I know that I will see them at the workshop, uh, but if I'm travelling on business, can I pop into the university and see the tutors? Absolutely, yeah, good question. If you're travelling, um, one happened... Um, a couple of weeks ago, with um, actually, there was a lady from one of our students from Hong Kong, and she was on business, and she just emailed myself and said, "Hi, Peter, can I? I'm going to be travelling in the Midlands. I'm in Birmingham doing business, but Leicester to Birmingham is about one hour." So she came across, and we had some food, had a coffee, had a chat about the MBA program. So that's totally normal. We're very welcoming to our students. So if you're travelling on business, coming to the UK, obviously get in touch, email, Skype, whatever. Um, and then you have the opportunity to come and meet myself and colleagues who, who, who work on the programme, yes. Excellent. Um, this is also a very interesting question. The last time I studied was approximately 10 years ago. So in your opinion, do you think I can really handle this MBA after such a long hiatus? Absolutely. Have full confidence in your own abilities. Um, is the first and most important thing. Um, you're never too, it's never too late to learn. I'm a great believer in lifelong learning. As, as human beings, we're all learning all of the time. So we have, in, in all seriousness, we have students that ask that very similar question to me. They say, "Dr. Peter, I, I, you know, I'm this, this, I, I'm this old now. Last time I studied was 25 years ago. I've had 25. Someone said it was 25 years ago since I last studied. I don't know what I'll do. I'm worried. And my answer every time is, "Don't worry." It's all the students start an MBA program from zero. They're all starting from it's a new opportunity. And there's different people from different age groups, different backgrounds. Um, so don't worry at all. And, you know, remember that, that during the last 10 years in which you weren't in formal education, you'll have been learning in different spheres of your life in terms of your business or family life or general life. So you can take some of those skills you've learned in the last 10 years and bring them onto your MBA program. 
Yeah. And Sammy's question, he's got two questions. Um, Sammy's first question is, um, I can see that there is a marketing finance and HR specialization, uh, but what about the general MBA? Um, uh, what, how do I study that? And what is my um, dissertation going to be in? That's the first question. The second question is regarding the mandatory workshops and the dates. Um, that, uh, Sammy, you can definitely get in touch with your academic consultant and we'll be able to give you the structure of uh, the workshops. Okay. Um, but Dr. Peter, the first one was about the dissertation in a general oh, MBA. Yeah. As I was stating on the presentation, you haven't, you have an, I, I probably should have made it clearer. You have an opportunity to do either a general MBA, so you'd receive an MBA, or you could do an MBA in marketing, an MBA in HRM, or an MBA in finance. So I'd say probably the majority of our students, about the majority, would just do the standard MBA. They're quite happy to have it, the general MBA. And there are, I suppose, arguments. Students ask, Peter, should I do a specialism MBA or should I do the general MBA? And I say it's very, it's very subjective. If, for example, for example, somebody's a finance, a finance director, it might be a good idea to do the MBA in finance. If somebody's a marketing director, MBA in marketing. However, you often get people who are doing very specialized things that then in the MBA, you know, alternatively, they want to have a much more of a general MBA as well. So that, that's the flexibility that we have built into the program. Um, the second part of the question was what, in terms of the dissertation, you can choose with your supervisor the topic of your dissertation. You can, you can choose what you want to do. So if, for example, you're a marketing manager, you could do a theme, for example, I don't know, dig digital marketing, the importance of digital marketing in today's business world. Um, if you're a small business, you could look at small issues, very, very important for small businesses and things like that. So there's a lot of choice is what I'm trying to say in terms of the dissertation and the choice of the topic. Excellent. Um, and Mohammed, yes, to answer your question, uh, this webinar is being recorded, um, so you'll definitely be able to, to get the recording of this. Okay. Okay. And um, a very important question that everyone asks is, will the university invite me to the uh, graduation? Because this is a very important milestone for me. Absolutely. Um, the graduation ceremonies at the university take place um, in January and in July of each year. So if you started in April 2019, you would complete your studies in September 2021, and then you graduate in January 2022. So you'd have the opportunity, of course, we would invite you to come with yourself, your partners, wives, husbands, families, sisters, brothers, children, um, to come because it's a day of celebration. It's a celebration for us as a university, but more importantly, it's a celebration for yourselves as individuals and your families to achieve your your own personal achievements. So yes, you can you can come to the graduation ceremonies that take place in Leicester by all means. Um, if it's important to say as well, though, if for example you don't have the opportunity, maybe it's a work commitment and you can't come to the graduation ceremony, this is not a problem. The university will send you. The certificate by post so you'll you'll still re obviously receive your certificate good excellent um and uh, I, I can see two questions that are identical regarding the duration of of the program um is there a fast track route to this program um if i can complete it uh, in less than uh, the stated time period okay um good question i'm afraid not no there's no fast track in terms of the duration it's Two and a half years is the, the duration of the programme. We've built that in, in terms of you do module one for six months and then on completion, you do module two and then on completion, you do module three, then an option and then your final project or dissertation as a result of the fact that each of the modules feeds in chron chronologically and pedagogically into each other. So some students do ask sometimes, can I do two modules, for example, at the same time? And it's we say it's impossible because of the nature of the content of each of the modules. 
Okay, if I happen to fail a module, will the university be able to give me very positive criticism and allow me to submit again? Or is this uh, some like, like some of the other MBAs where they just tell you that you failed and don't give you any feedback? Okay, this is one of the other reasons why you want to join the Leicester MBA is we're, we're generally, I'd quite like to say, I'm sure Helen will agree with me, um, we're, we're generally nice people. So if, for example, some things can happen in life, some you can, have a, you can do an examination um, and have a bad day. Um, you might be feeling ill, you might have issues at work or in your family or something. Life happens. Um, so if you fail a part of a module, you, of course, have the opportunity to resit. And most importantly, you will receive feedback from your module leader and from your tutors in terms of where you've gone wrong and what you'll need to do in order to improve, in order to pass your reset. So you'll then do the examination again or the assignment again in order to pass it the second time. Excellent. And in your opinion, which, uh, which process is easier, the MBA assessment or the IELTS? Um, that's a good question. Um, I think probably the MBA assessment would probably be the most efficient way to do things in terms of it's an opportunity for you to do a, the 400 words and then have a conversation with myself as the programme director. So I'd probably st strongly recommend doing that. Okay. Um, and Aman's question is, I understand that this is an MBA, uh, Amber accredited MBA. Um, however, uh, will this have in the future a triple accreditation? Uh, it's a good question. Um, part of the strategic priorities of the University of Leicester School of Business is to work towards becoming triple accredited in terms of gaining AACSB and Equus accreditation for the MBA going forwards in the next five years. Okay. And uh, do you do you provide any exemptions? Because I do have uh, an MBA. Well, I have not completed an MBA, uh, but I do have some modules. So will you be able to give me exemptions, which means it will lessen my time on the program? Unfortunately not. Um, I'll be very honest and straight. Unfortunately not. Uh, in terms of our MBA program, everybody starts from zero. So if you've done, for example, one module at a different university, that can't be transferred onto the Leicester MBA. Right. Um, and then uh, Mohammed, uh, Dr. Peter did actually discuss uh, the accreditation. Um, so at the, at the moment, it's just the AMBER accreditation. Okay. And um, I think that's actually all. I mean, I've managed to actually group them all together. So that's actually fantastic. All right. Thank you so much again, Dr. Peter. That was Thanks great. Great. Uh, great and very informative. Again, thank you everyone for attending. Um, lovely questions. Uh, as I said, this is recorded, so you will definitely get a recording. And we are looking forward to getting all your applications in as soon as possible. Uh, there are limited places available, so do try and get uh, your documents into your academic consultant as soon as possible. Okay. Good evening to everyone, and good, good evening, evening to you. Everybody. Cheerio. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye, Mike.